Hello everyone and welcome back to a let's play of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Wake your host invalid. Um, I'm not going to be doing the controller thing today. That was something I wanted to do since the last episode, but unfortunately I found my controller but it's dead, so it's sitting on the charger and I'll do that in the next episode. But anyway, where we last left off, we had learned, I think, all the mini-games. Potions was very fun, dueling was fun, Quidditch was... eh. So, considering I'm using the mouse and keyboard again, I'm going to be avoiding that as much as possible. Which reminds me, I want to turn down my DPI settings a little bit. That's better, okay. This is why it's good to have a mouse with DPI settings because um do you think Dean sees in her Ginny I don't know she's got nice skin nice skin mine has got nice skin <laughs> Harry uh, I need to uh yeah me too could you get me some sweets from Honeydukes I've got to write two essays and make a shrinking solution poem work so I can't go I'll make the shrinking solution for you but then you can come to Hogsmeade since when have you been into potions it's no problem. Slughorn's let some students set up a potions club in the Herbology greenhouses. I can make it there. Okay, thanks. I'll meet you back here later. I Just solemnly kind of skimming I'm over all of that. But I guess we're unlocking new areas in Hogwarts, so Mischief that's something. Managed. Make a shrinking solution for Ginny. Anyway, what was I talking about? Holy shit, this game is loud. Like, I love the music, but I can barely hear myself over this. And there's no way to change the audio settings, is there? Nope. No way. Great. So I'll just have to adjust my headset. That's a little better. Okay. That's manageable. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, Quidditch kind of sucks ass. It seems like it would be better on a controller, because it seems more like, kind of, like how old Wii games and arcade games used to be. I guess I have to lift this out of the way. Yeah. So let's move that over there. Auto cancel it again? Okay, just right click. There we go. At least the training ground. I don't think that's where I want to go necessarily. Also, there are a lot of these. What the hell? I guess I have to make something grow or. No. Oh. Crying out loud. I completely lost my train of thought with that interruption with Ginny and Ron. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. It'll come back to me, I guess, eventually. But yeah, more potions minigame. Yay. I'm probably going completely the wrong direction, but I'm, I'm cool with that. I want to explore this place anyway. And I don't think I'm actually going to be bothering anymore with the mini crests because it's a bunch of clicking that I don't necessarily want to do, and all it does is release mini crests, which I guess if I get enough of them can lead to one big crest, but it's kind of like... I already know the wards are going to be shite, and all of you guys are saying, yeah, don't bother with trying to hyper-collect all the crests, because no point. So I'm just not going to bother. I do wonder, however, if I can hit... Hmm. Maybe not. I guess I specifically need a bench for those then. Yeah, so there's... there's a thing right there. Oh, maybe I can use the dung bombs? Well, not that it's gonna do a whole lot of good against that, but whatever. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. Once again, wondering how much of a, a deviation there is. I can't go this way? I guess that straight up just isn't part of the level. Alright.
Okay, maybe running actually is kind of useful in this game, even though it is complete meme quality. <laughs> was that? <laughs> okay, that was amazing. <laughs> Running has been officially redeemed. <laughs> Lift and throw objects at Hogwarts Crest to knock them down. Is that so? Yeah, why don't I just bring it to me? I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little unintuitive to use WASD to be moving items that I'm carrying with Wingardium Leviosa instead of just, you know, the mouse. But I don't hate it. What? Okay. I <laughs> can just lift the pot off real quick. I guess I'll take it. But yeah, it seems like we're gonna be breezing through more of the story elements. So that's still locked off. Okay. Well, I'll wander around for a bit, and if I don't find my way to the greenhouse, then I'll summon nearly headless Nick, but, you know. More spider webs. I'm trying to remember, because I think that was a pretty big feature of the second game, wasn't it? it? Was the spider webs that you had to break through? I can't remember what the spell was to break those, though. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If that were true, then he'd be catching the snitch more often, but... In this storyline, he doesn't even hardly show up to practice, let alone the actual games. <gasps> I can't go that way, that's... Huh? Yeah, so they're telling bits of the story just by, uh... Oh, hello, door. They're telling bits of the story by dialogue rather than actually showing it, but... I mean, I guess it's a game... <sighs> At least they have nods to the story, which is better than what the third game did. Oh, going through the cave again. Can I just walk it? Nope, can't walk in the water, apparently. The well time to pull so it releases more mini- oh, whatever, whatever. I don't care! Ooh, there's a rock here, though. Nope, nope. It's just part of the terrain, apparently. Not something I can get. Oh, maybe. Whoop. Sorry, bud. That's not what I meant to do. So bring this over here. God damn it. Bring this over here. There we go. Ugh. Hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to walk into you. Didn't mean to walk into you either, but whatever. Oh, come the hell on, dude. Really? Why is this a... Oh, my God. Harry, I didn't... Stop it. Okay. Janky-ass movement controls. Whee! Hey, there we go. Okay, so that's how you do it. Gotcha. Dung bomb's useful for knocking crests down. Good to know. Oh god, I should totally be able to walk up this. Not the invisible walls thing. <laughs> no. Meanwhile, goes falling off the the edge of the other way. Yep, totally should be able to walk there, but that's that's nope. Invisible wall. Nope, not allowed to go there. <sighs> Fine. And this is the way to the Allery, so that's not where we need to go. So where's the greenhouse from here? There's the lake. Hmm. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. Coming through! It's the Harry Train! That sounds weird. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god, I'm I'm actually I'm okay. There we go. I was stuck in the box for a second. That was weird. How do I? What's Marauder's map again? It's not M. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is just how you would look through all the different locations. So you can't even look at the Marauders map. That's kind of lame. Ah. Oh, I was totally going the wrong way. Whoops. <laughs> I don't remember the greenhouses being out this way, but oops, sorry. <laughs> oh god. Sorry, I didn't mean to fall for you. <laughs> Oh god, this entire sprinting sequence is absolutely ridiculous. Wait, so it was this? What? Are you... Are you serious? <laughs> Didn't see her! Ugh, ridiculous. Is there a rock around here? Oh, there is. Wingardium Leviosa! Whee! What? Okay, well, let's go back here. Give me a second, Nick. I'll be there in, in a jiffy. Whoop. There we go. I can't believe I have to backtrack this whole way. Well, at least I'm not having that issue where the NPCs are way slower than the player character. <laughs> That's good. Really? Really? Ugh, bloody hell. It was right here the entire time. God, what is it with intuition being like... Spot on, and then... The monkey brain just goes, Oh no, it can't be this way! It has to be somewhere else! Shoot. Like, I literally, I walked straight over this way, y'all saw it. But my brain said, nope, gotta go a different direction. Well, okay, but, but potions. But potions. How am I supposed to do anything for the potions thing if... Alright, well... Oh god, the, uh... The whatchamacallits. Can I go this way? I can. Is there any reason to be in here? That's to the training ground. I was just in there. So... Do I go through here? Hi. Yep. Is this Potions Club? Yes. Have you come to join? I've heard you're brilliant at potions this year. Thanks, but I just want to make a shrinking solution. I've got to get back to meet someone. Sorry, if you want to use our equipment, you'll have to join the Potions Club. All you need to do is choose the entry challenge on the notice board over there. Okay, thanks. D okay, that was a weird slide. Oh, hey, I remember you guys. You were a lot bigger in the first game. I still wouldn't want to mess with you. The Voyubilis Potion. Alright. If you can beat the record score for brewing Volubilis Potion, you can join the Potions Club. Volubilis Potion is one of my favorites. Some people just use it to play tricks on others to change their voices, which seems a waste of a good potion to me. Okay, so it seems like... So we heat it up again. Make it pink. Whoops. That counts. Okay. It's not really pink, but I'll take it. Let me get this one. 
make that green. There we go. So heat it up again. Stewed mandrake. Quite a light version. Yes, indeed. Syrup of hellebore. Hellebore, huh? Make kind of a teal color. Whoops. That was way too dark, but that's fine. Making it red. Making it yellow. Cool, I guess. So... Why would you have to beat a high score to join a club? I guess wow, to keep it exclusive. We are good. No one else has brewed voluminous potion that well before. You can definitely join the potions club. Thanks. Can I make my shrinking solution now? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh. Stewed lace. Jeez Louise, that was Shake the bottle until it bubbles. Oh no. Oh no. I can't just drop potions anymore. <laughs> oh no. Okay. This, uh, this is, uh, oh boy. Select this container, then lift, like this. Oh. Wow, they... Why is the potion minigame more involved than the entirety of the previous game was? Crap should take some of this. Okay, so we're taking green worms. Could I just, like, grab a handful? We heat it up so it's nice and red, like that. Then we get this one. So it's nice and fizzy, then we make it yellow. Whoop, there it goes! <laughs> make it nice and blue. Make it purple. We can get some... Okay, my mouse wasn't anywhere... Wasn't anywhere near the thingy, man. Come on. Really? Practice makes perfect. Oh, bugger off. Crap should take some of this. Oh god. This is obnoxious. Oh god, mouse acceleration, why you do this? I wasn't moving my mouse at all to the left. Why? Why you do this? <laughs> no! Why'd you go there? God. Make it yellow. Eat it up. Eat it up again. <laughs> okay, get the little little vial. Make it green. There we go. A few of these leeches, looks like. Can you get in there, please? There we go. God, I wish the camera wouldn't like move everywhere every single time. It's kind of obnoxious. God, why are they going in? That's actually really bad. Okay, shake this around violently until it... Whoa! Okay, one of these. I have no depth perception with this! Ah! Oi, oi, oi! 
Wow. We actually capped it out. Okay. Cool. <laughs> After flunking the first Can't time. <laughs> wait to see how you do in the other challenges. Come back and try them. Great. I'll definitely have a go, but I've got to meet Ginny Weasley at the Quidditch pitch now. That's okay. Just come back any time. Oh no. Once again, the mouse becomes a problem. Oh no. <laughs> the potion minigame is so fun though. I may have to just play the rest of the game with a controller if it's gonna be this bad. Because this is kind of ridiculous. Hi. Yep, that's that's pretty much what I remember you doing. All right, well, let's head back to the Quidditch pitch, I suppose. Whoa, not now, Crab. I'm going to meet someone. Looks like you're going to be late, doesn't it? Stupefy. You are not just my guy. Well, time to spam, I guess. Ow. Okay, so that's a reflect. Okay, that was kind of BS. You see how he just went over like that? Ah. Eat more stupefy, goyle, or crab. You dickhead. That was interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll get you back for that. Now you know what it feels like to be bullied. Dickhead. That was great, Harry. Crab and Goyle are always bullying people. Hey, you couldn't come and help us, could you? I'm the Hufflepuff Dueling Club captain, and some of the students in my house could really use some help with their defensive spells. Well, okay, but it'll have to be quick. Okay, everyone. Harry's agreed to show us Protego. Our Dueling Club Junior Champion has bravely volunteered to help. Okay, Harry, off you go. What? Well, you right click? Oh, now that's interesting. Huh. Could you teach us how to charge spells too? Show us how it's done, Harry. Oh. Okay. So, is there any difference to actually charging the spell up all the Thanks, way like Harry. I did, or? If you fancy another go? Just sign up for a jewel on the notice board over there. Aren't? Th Wait. Aren't th aren't there? Th so there's two dueling clubs. Are is there going to be a dueling club for each house? Is there going to be a potions thing for each house? Oh dear. Okay, this may end up being a lot more involved than I was anticipating. There's Ginny. Okay, let's just. Hi, yeah. Ginny. I've made that shrinking solution for you. Thanks, Harry. That's brilliant. You wouldn't believe all the things I had to do on my way back to you, but I'm here now. Shall we go to Hogsmeade? Oh, sorry, Harry. I've arranged to go with Dean. He's not stopped moaning since I told him I could go. What? Now I can. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, uh, of course. Wait. <laughs> I'll go with Hermione. See you later, Harry. Yeah. See you later. What was that potion you gave to Ginny? You've not been making more things from that potions book, have you? You don't even know who the Half Blood Prince is. Let's go to Hogsmeade. They really just had the record scratch sound effects. Are you fucking kidding? It's just I'm starting to think this prince character was a bit oh my dodgy. God. Isn't that Katie Bell? It's, it's nothing, nothing to do with you. Katie! Katie! It's that necklace. It must be cursed. Well, it was a pendant in the book, but whatever. Malfoy knew about that necklace. It was on display at Borgin and Burke's. 
Katie was given the necklace in the ladies' toilet. How could Draco have put it in there? Good luck today, Ron. I know you'll be brilliant. I'm resigned after today's match. McLaggen can have my spot. Fine. Juice? You look dreadful, Ron. Is that why you put something in his cup? Don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Harry. We've got a game to win. You could be expelled for that. Okay. Uh, you know what, Harry? I'm feeling really lucky today. Why is Luna in, in this scene? Whatever. Okay, where are we going? We're going to Quidditch. Oh god. More Quidditch. Shoot me. Quick. Somebody cast Se Sectum Sempra so Snape has to come rescue my ass. <laughs> Oh god, why? So, wait. This isn't the way, is it? I don't think it is. I think I'm going completely the wrong way. I think it's actually. I've got a good feeling about this match. I'm trying to remember where that one portrait was. I think it was on the second floor? Maybe? Or was it you? Was it you? No, that's to potions. I don't want to go to potions. Where? Where was the one lady? Where was Miss Grady Boat? That's Transfiguration Courtyard. We heard Vasey's not playing. He's a top scorer too. How lucky is that? Hmm. Yeah, all the random, the random luck that Ron's getting. So where is this portrait? Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't on the fourth floor, was it? No, it definitely wasn't on the fourth floor. Where? Did... All right, fine. Okay, Nick, where are we going? Because they changed stuff around again. Uh, let's just go... Not Gryffindor Common Room. So movement is wazzed, but you still have to go through the menus with the arrow keys. That makes no sense. Ugh. Uh, Quidditch Gate, here we go. Appreciate that, my good lad. Okay, so we're going that way, huh? Can can this stairwell just move already? Hey. Well, at least you can influence the stairwell still. That is quite nice. Was she at the base of the stairwell and I just forgot? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, she was totally at the base of the stairwell, wasn't she? Oh my god, she was. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wish Duggan would come Ah, yes, Kadogan. I don't actually remember who that is, to be fair. Uh, so I could technically just take... I guess that's not within range. Okay. Why? Why do you dash forward? Whatever. Whatever. We're just gonna go to Quidditch. Well, well. If it isn't Potty Potter and Weasel King, you're going to lose today. Slytherin are supreme. Leave this to me. I'm feeling pretty confident. And now for you, Potter. Let's see how well you play Quidditch after you've been stupefied. What? There you go. Ugh. 
it really still seems like spamming Stupefy is just the better option in general. <laughs> like, what was that? Sorry about that, Harry. Hey. It's all good, Ron. I just get to cringe at this game again. Like, this game really focused hard on the minigames, didn't it? We've had more combat in the first, what, two hours of this game than we did in the entirety of Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> I think we had three battles in, in its entirety. We never had dueling. I mean, you could always initiate whenever you wanted, but it was like... <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it's There's a lot of stuff in here that's that's seeming kind of forced, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like, the potions and stuff I kind of get. I don't remember shrinking potion being one of the things that Ginny specifically needed, but it could just be my memory failing me at this point in time. Because it has been a couple weeks since I've read it now. Again. <laughs> But I do know she needed help with stuff, and Harry did offer to help. God, I still can't get over that record scratch that they did. They're all listening, watching, blooding. Those Quidditch players, so noisy, so rowdy. Oh, sorry. I'll ask my team to keep the noise down as they pass you. You're one of them. A captain, too. You might as well use my shortcut, too. All the team captains do. My password is Boydle Beetle. Thanks. That's random as hell. Okay, I'll take it, I guess. I don't know why you'd be handing out a password like that when you're paranoid, but whatever. Let's go and beat Slytherin. What's got into him? He's just feeling lucky. Right, time for our pre match warm up. I've planned a few exercises that should help us get through. So, get your brooms and let's get flying. Well, before the match, do we really have to play Quidditch twice in a row? Or do we just get a cutscene for the Quidditch match? Because Ron's going to be performing super, super duper well. Because he's feeling lucky. So I am adjusting to how Quidditch works in this game. I was kind of noticing it in the last episode, but I didn't mention it. But, oh god, I drifted there and I didn't even move. What the hell? Whoa! It's still really janky. <laughs> oh god. Blech. Okay, so I haven't moved the mounts once. Okay, there I did. So is there any reason? Because it was talking about hitting the, the test, the training dummies, right? To extend your time. Is there any reason to do that? Oops. Is there any reason to do that? Like, is, is your score... Is your score linked to how long it takes? Hi, how's it going? Oh, so the rings lose time. Interesting. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, it really doesn't seem like there's any points. Try harder. Try harder? Like, what is there to do? God, I miss old Quidditch from the first game. I need to play through the second game again at some point with an emulator or something and just... That was jank. Come on, Captain. You can do that. Collision is very questionable. Because I'm pretty sure I went right through that. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, it really doesn't seem like there's... 
don't know. Okay, why would I bother going for the training dummies if it's just going to slow me down? Whoops. Yeah, yeah, Jenny, whatever. Yeah, because hitting the training dummy slows you down, right? Oh. Yeah, so training dummies slow you down. I guess bonking into other players does the same thing? I really don't understand why there's a reason for any of that. And now, Harry has seen the stitch and is chasing after it. Oh, we don't get a... Uh... The random ass commentary from Hooms. Huh. Because it used to be was it Lee Jordan, I think, who was the caster. Yeah, it seems like there is zero reason to actually run to the training dummies at all. Okay, excuse me, I'm trying to get in the hole, okay? Okay, so the only reason to bump into the other people is just to, uh... ...make it to the, the next star, I guess. Oops. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm actually getting a little motion sick. <laughs> I really don't like this. The switch is in his sights. Not only do I feel like I have almost zero control over where I'm actually going because it's like, oh, just move Harry around on the screen kind of thing. Oh, it moves the camera when you do that too, no! Like, you're flying all over the place with zero input whatsoever. Except from just side to side. Oh, I missed that. Here, I'm trying to get the snitch, okay? Can you, can you guys jump? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. I'm trying to remember, who was the other person that commentated? Because Luna commentates at some point. And then, who else was it? It was someone from Hufflepuff who was really just obnoxious. You shouldn't have done it, Harry. Felix Felicis is illegal in organized competitions. I suppose I should have just confunded McLagan in the trials instead. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, and Ron only thought I'd given it to him. It turns out he can make his own luck. Well, he won't need me to take him to Slughorn's Christmas party. And you'd better decide who you're going with. How does it feel when you see Dean with Ginny? I know, Harry. I've seen how you look at her. Hermione? I'm sure Ron... Oh, don't worry about Ron. He can make his own luck. <sighs> yeah, I remember that part of the book. So it's night time. I can't help if a mine has got on knickers in a twist. What lav and I have, well, let's just say it's chemical. There's no stopping it. Suppose you're going to Slughorn's party. Yeah. I, I better go. I'm meeting Luna down by the boathouse. Luna? You could take any girl in the castle and you're taking Loony Lovegood. Yeah. One one! Ooh. Have fun. Okay.
I really don't know how I feel about this game now, because, like... I don't know, Order of the Phoenix seemed kind of bare bones and rough around the edges in some ways, but this game, like... There are so many things that are just, they almost seem like oversights. Like they were made by cinematographers and cameramen rather than, you know, actual game developers. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. It's been 40 minutes, so I'm gonna stop it there. It's actually probably gonna be a lot shorter, because I'm cutting out, like, however long with the first 10 minutes from wandering around aimlessly. But... Next time we'll, uh, talk to Luna, and go to Slughorn's party, and... Hopefully have a working controller. So until then, have a great day, everybody. I'm starting to like this game less and less as time goes on, but we'll see how this goes. Bye for now.